Hello everyone, today I'm going to be looking at this Vileda Junior Vacuum by Theo Klein. Now, I've only just got this and the box is a little bit damaged and at the moment I can't see the main floor nozzle so I'm hoping it's not missing otherwise this will be going back. I think I'm hoping it's in there. Anyway, not much to unbox. I think this might have been out of the box. It seems okay so far. So we've got the cleaner in a nice red colour, a white hose. There's a little leaflet about other toys you can buy. Ah, good. There's the wand in a nice red to match the cleaner. Ah, oh, good. We have got the nozzle. Oh, and the handle and some polystyrene beads. This model reminds me very much of the Hoover Alpina by Theo Klein. It's got a lot of the same components. The handle's the same, the floor nozzle's the same, the hose is the same. I think the wand is the same apart from it's a different colour. And of course the main floor head is also the same. And I expect a lot of the internal parts of this Vileda Junior is very similar to the Hoover Alpina. This is a functioning toy vacuum cleaner, so obviously we'll need to put some batteries in. So normally they're underneath. And yes, just like the Hoover Alpina, this takes two D-sized batteries. Again, we need a small Phillips or crosshead screwdriver. All the toy vacuums I've been looking at seem to have the same sort of screw to remove to get into the battery compartment. There we go. Yep, and we need to put positive down that side and positive up that side. I'll just check it's not going to turn itself on. Yes, it's the on-off switch is in the off position. We can put the cover back on, that's it. And tighten up the screw and then we can have a look at the rest of this little vacuum. Apart from different styling, most of the parts are in the same place as the Alpina version. We've got an on off switch, but instead of a slide control, it's a big rocker switch. I won't turn it on just yet. It's got a similar sort of bagless compartment and also a similar catch that we need to remove and it certainly comes out easier. This is slightly different, much bigger opening so it's easier to empty and then there is just behind that grill, I think you can see it there, there is a big fan. We'll turn it on now, hopefully it's going to work. So yes, it does, good. This seemed to be coming apart actually, it didn't seem very strong, but now that should be okay. And we need to locate it at the back first and then push it forward. Got two wheels at the back and there's just a dome at the front, that's not a wheel. And obviously this is where we need to insert the hose. So we'll put the hose in. There we go, that's it, that's in firmly. And then we need to attach, of course, the handle. Now, which way does it go in? Is it this way? Let me just take the wand and see. Right, I think it's this side. Ah, oh, hang on, I knew there was something. There's another part. I thought there was something missing. So first got to put this bit here onto the hose and then Ah, there we go. That fits in. There's a little slot there. So you just need to push it in until it uh, clicks into place. Easier said than done. Right, I'll just have to do that off camera because I need, need to hold this a bit closer to me in order to get the force behind it because that's quite difficult. There we go. I've got it on now. It was quite a, a tight fit. So onto the handle, we can put the wand 
and onto the end of the wand of course we can now put the floor nozzle so if you saw my hoover alpina demonstration i think this is going to work in a very similar manner okay i've got a nice big pile of dirt let's switch on this vileda junior and see if we can pick it all up Well, like the Hoover version, it does tend to lose a bit of suction as it gets full because it completely covers the fan. So I found when I did the Hoover demonstration, I found that using it on its end like this left the fan clear. As you can see, you can now see the fan because all the dirt is now at the bottom. But yes, it works much the same way as the Hoover one as I thought it would because I think it's basically the same internally but it's just a slightly different style. I don't know if Vileda actually make full-sized vacuum cleaners. I know they make some robotic cleaners, possibly a cordless one, but I've never seen a Vileda cylinder. Well, not in the UK anyway. So we need to take this out because it's got a wider opening the bits do spill out a bit easier, it means we can empty it easier. Now put that to one side, we'll empty this out again. But I think we're going to have the same problem with this Vileda as I did with the Hoover Alpina version. When using this nozzle, it took ages and ages to do. Well, this Vileda Junior toy vacuum by Theo Klein is one of the better ones for actually picking up the polystyrene. Very similar performance to the Alpina version that I've got, but maybe slightly better. But this is a model you can still buy. I bought this fairly recently. I'll leave a link below to Amazon where I bought mine from if you want to get it. It's an affiliated link, so if you buy it from there, I get a little commission which helps fund my channel, helps me able to buy more vacuums and lights and filming stuff, all sorts, just helps me to keep going and to keep producing videos for you to watch. Now you do get this very small little container of polystyrene beads, but you can easily get more Amazon, eBay, you can get a bigger bag like the multicolored ones I've got and then you're not going to be worried about losing them because they only supply you, as I said, with this small, small little container, which is useful for keeping some in, but get yourself a bigger bag and then you'll be able to vacuum to your heart's content. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments or questions about this Vileda Junior vacuum, please comment below and I'll see you all for the next video coming up very soon. Bye for now.